What is up guys, Monkey Napkin here, and welcome to World War II. Uh, basically, I know I was supposed to make this video a while ago. Uh, I did a live stream for it, but I put Infinite Warfare on it on accident, and it, it was my fault. It was my fault, not gonna lie. But uh, I did fix it, so if you want to see me play World War II, see how I actually play, you know, messing around with people, because I was talking with my friend and stuff, so I wasn't playing the best. But I do also have some clips for you guys that I kind of you know scrounged together that was just they were either like very funny like somebody just somehow not being able to kill me or something really cool that i did that i thought it was cool in my opinion you know so um basically i got some clips for you guys i'll put those at the end but i'm gonna play a quick game real quick and talk about some things about this game and uh you know kind of give my opinion so basically this game is similar to battlefield one and war war world at war that Call of Duty. That's how I would say this game is. Um, to me, I wouldn't put this game above Modern Warfare 3 or Black Ops 2. But that's, again, that's just my opinion. Some people hate both of those games. You know, it's just it's just my opinion. I wouldn't put it above those. So if you're a fan of Black Ops 2, um, I mean, you can listen to my opinion. Or if you're a fan of Modern Warfare 3, you can listen to my opinion or not. It's really up to you. And uh, I actually remember it. I had some beta codes, but uh, obviously I can't give them out now because uh, the betas. And it's it's basically over actually as I'm recording this I think it's gonna be over in the next 30 minutes so I'm kind of rushing this video not really rushing it but I'm kind of pushing oh my god I'm kind of pushing it I probably should have did this a lot earlier hopefully well I know I know the game won't end by then but um hopefully we can do you know do this video have it recorded and out before the game actually is over oh my god but um Okay, so about the uh, about the game, about the game. Game is really solid. It's really solid. This is probably the best beta I've played in terms of like stability. But um, there are some things I wish they would fix in the beta. There are a lot of glitches that I was seeing, like a lot. But like I wasn't lagging a lot. I wasn't like glitching or getting taken out of the game much. So it was really good in terms of that, like literally stability. But there were a lot of glitches in the game, and I don't know if it was because of other people's connections or anything like that, because the beta was running pretty good. But um, I play. I remember playing some games where, literally, somebody would, I don't know, somebody would like run around a corner, and they would be a they would be a teammate, and then I would go around the corner with them, and their name would literally change red, and they would have switched teams, and then I would have to kill them. And it was like they were just on my team and I would look on the look on the leaderboard, not the leaderboard, the scoreboard, and it would say their name. It would literally say their name. And they were still they were wow. I got a headshot too. <laughs> but they were still uh they were still on my team. And for the rest of the game I was killing them as an enemy and they were on my team. And it was the weirdest thing ever. Another guy, he could not die because his name was showing up red for us, but he was on our team and we could not kill him. And it was just a lot of glitches all together just happening throughout the game and it could have been easy easily things that could have been fixed because it really would mess us up when we're trying to shoot this guy and he can't die and so because we're shooting you're showing up on the mini map and you're you're gonna get popped you're, you're gonna get popped so um basically it would have been nice if they fixed little things like that other than that the beta would have been perfect in terms of like glitches and all this other stuff but um I guess real things about the game that I would say, you know, in my opinion, I would like them to fix. Uh, the site for the snipers, this T thing they got going on, I don't know if, I don't know much about history, honestly, but and I would not have these T things here if it was up to me because they're kind of, they're kind of distracting, honestly. I can't, I can snipe, I can snipe okay with them, but it's not like... Oh wow, it's not like I'm about to be extremely accurate. Like it's actually pretty, it's pretty weird for me to hit where I want to hit. And also, this game has a lot of head glitches. And when you snipe right where they intersect, right where the T, you know, connects and all sides, I guess, it is not. You're not shooting right there. It shoots like a little bit higher than that. So like, there's times where I'm shooting right where my sight is. I'll like aim down, like I'll do the sharpshooter. Also, when you hold your breath, your whole screen gets uh, black besides the scope, which I think is pretty cool. I mean, I get it. You know, you're really focusing on where you're trying to shoot. That's why you hold your breath. But um, there, I thought it was a teammate. But um, 
yeah, there are times where I've I've done that and I've shot right where they they intersect and nothing. I would not hit where I wanted to where I wanted to hit, and it was really annoying because nice. It was really annoying because I'm like trying to pe I'm trying to shoot people out of a head glitch and it's not happening, and. I finally figured out that I had to shoot a little lower than where I was actually shooting. So if I wanted to, like if I was doing a, like a challenge for headshots, like whenever they, I don't know if they're even going to put camos in the game, but if they do, whenever there's challenges for headshots and stuff, I'm going to have to, yeah, like that. Like there's a lot of head glitches, specifically on this map. Gibraltar has the most head glitches, but if I want to do a challenge for headshots, I'm going to have to be aiming for like the chest and I'll probably get a headshot every time. Hit marker, awesome. Could you come black? Could come black? Could you come back, please? But uh, yeah, I'm gonna have to. I'm gonna have to be aiming for the chest just to be able to do these things. I can't see. That's another problem I have. Oh my god, it was close. But uh, when your screen shakes, oh my goodness, it is the most traumatizing thing ever. It is not like. It is not like you know in any other Call of Duty. I think this is the most shaking I've ever seen in my entire. Call of Duty career. I oh my god. Okay, he had a flamethrower. All right. Also, the kill streaks. Speaking of flamethrower, the kill streaks are not that good. Honestly, they're they're not. You know, usually the last kill streak. Let me back up. Usually the last kill streak is the strongest. And paratroopers can be good, but they could easily be killed by anybody because all it is is a bunch of AI dropping down. And what happens is they all. Wow, that was bad. Wow, that was bad. There we go. What happens is they all just come down and they, they're literally like AI running around the map, but they can easily be killed by, oh wow. They could easily be killed by anybody. So it's not the best, uh, it's not the best. That's all I have to say, it's not the best. The kill streaks could be stronger. They look amazing. Glide bomb and, and artillery, well you can't really look at artillery barrage, but like even bringing it up, it looks really good. Like. You bring up a map with four artillery barrage and you know you pinpoint the location of where you want the thing to how did that miss? Where you want it to hit. And it looks really cool. It looks legit. It looks like it looks like World War II. I can say that. It looks like World War II. And I do like that. They made this game look really good. Like aesthetic wise, it looks amazing. Okay, maybe okay. Wait, let's let's calm down. Let me get on this side. And then let me Oh my god. I can't see. Stop shaking. Oh, come on, guys. Put your grenades down, please. Oh, no. Somebody else? Where else? Oh. Oh, he jumped. No, you're going to... Okay. Well, anyways. Yeah, uh, they, they, could, uh, they could fix some things in this game. But there are some things they did really good on. Ooh. Can we keep it going? Can we keep it going? Ooh. Keep it going. Keep it going. I want to get a no scope, but um, yeah. Oh, there it is. Never mind. I thought he would have killed me. I don't know how he didn't kill me. Also, another thing, they made this game where, oh my goodness, like either you get put on a. Oh, I'm stuck. You, I'm stuck. You get put on either a good team. What am I doing? Come, come. Dang. It. You get put on a good team, or you get put on an extremely just terrible crap team. Like there, there is no. There is no in the middle for this game. It's it's either you're doing great or you're doing bad. Obviously, we're doing, we're we're the losing side, and I don't want to look at my team really. Because, holy sprint! Did you see that? Did I kill him? No. There we go. Stop. St I I digress. I digress. The game I give it like, I give it like a, mm, I give it like a seven, seven out of ten. But then again, it's just a beta. And, you know, you can't always just think a beta is going to be always like that. You know, you got to give it, you got to give it a chance. You know, you never know. Also, I do enjoy the play of the game thing. I do like that. Instead of a uh, last kill cam, I know last kill cam is used for like, you know, people who make, uh, you know, funny. Some people do funny moments and the last kill cam is like really funny to them. They end up, you know, was he lagging? But they end up doing, you know, the final kill cam being something really funny. And stuff like that, but I do enjoy the last kill. The oh, if I shot a little earlier, that would have been it. That would have been his face. But okay, I don't know how I got that close. But yeah, the game is okay. Or not okay. Seven out of ten. I do like it. Ooh, show me. 
Bam. Oh man. Hello. Bam. Oh. Give me another one. Give me another one. Give me another. Feed me. Yeah. Yeah. But anyways, it's it's satisfying. It is satisfying. Pretty fun. I know it's better than uh, Infinite Warfare and games like that. Even okay, what just happened? Okay, good. But uh, 1821, that's not too bad for quick scoping. You know, I'm not the best quick scoper. But uh, yeah, kill streak wise, pretty good. Or right, kill streak wise, could be a lot stronger. Um, perks, there's no perks really. You have training. Um, the looks of the game looks amazing. It looks really good. I love it. Um, what else is there? I guess the oh the menu is really annoying because when you click start it's set up like this where you have like instead of summary it would say like your classes here would have I think the overview and like the map and stuff here would be something else here would be settings and it's really annoying to do that I'm used to just clicking start and seeing all of my setting, settings where I could change my sensitivity and stuff real quick you know do it on the fly but uh yeah it's 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 not a bad game it's not a bad game but uh, that's all I got to really say you know uh, I I like it, I like it, but uh, yeah, I'm, I'm gonna show you guys some clips after that. So uh, yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed, and uh, see you later.